so this guy's about two years old and this one's probably about three and, three and a half to four years old. So you could definitely see how much they grow. Grow and eat. Blue catfish don't belong in the Chesapeake Bay and its rivers. Oh, it's an invasive species that is devouring native populations of fish, crabs, you name it, and they're multiplying like crazy. This is a blue cat, so it's a smaller one. Yeah. Husband and wife team Holly and Josh Buckler have been harvesting blue catfish yeah, from the Patuxent River since 2013, and they've seen the negative impact firsthand. This invasive fish is not going anywhere. And it's the way it's rooted now, good luck. Like I said, in four years, I bet you there won't be another fish in this river besides catfish. Maryland has asked the federal government for a disaster declaration and wants commercial fishermen to go after the blue cats. Our goal is to pull out as many blue catfish as we can from the Chesapeake. Uh, and it's going to require all of us. It's not just a government-led initiative. But for watermen to make a living, they need to sell their catch, and there's not much demand for blue cats. Creating new markets is a big priority, and the Maryland Department of Agriculture is having yes. some success. The prisons are using it, um, as well as uh, we worked on a grant with the USDA recently where the food banks are purchasing it now as well to, uh, to provide to those in need. And restaurants are getting on board. Forward Brewing in Eastport has blue cat tacos and dip on the menu. Preserve in Annapolis uses blue catfish for their fish and chips. And the more we can do to limit those blue catfish, the more the, the dominant species will, and the natural species will thrive here. But more needs to be done. The bucklers can't sell what they're bringing in, so they've stopped fishing for now, just as the blue cats are spawning and increasing their numbers. The state would like to open up international markets and sell the fish overseas. They're also looking at pet food and fertilizer companies as potential buyers. The bucklers say any little bit would help. If you can move thousands and thousands of pounds of these a day, you know, we could get the numbers under control. Megan McGrath, News 4.